What's going on everybody? Welcome to Springfield, Illinois. This right in front of me is the home of Abraham Lincoln, or was the former home of Abraham Lincoln. He lived here for quite a few years. This is the only home he ever owned. Um, he paid $1,200 for it uh, originally, but today I'm going to show you something that nobody ever really gets to see. Now this is the backyard of the Lincoln home, and this is very rarely open. This right here is where he would have kept his horse, Old Bob, back in the day. I'm sure this has been renovated a little bit. It's not open, so you can't see inside. But the backyard is open, and I'm going to show you da -da -da -da, Abraham Lincoln's bathroom. Now, back in the 1850s when he lived here, they didn't have indoor plumbing. They had to brave the elements and come through the backyard. And if they had to do their business, they would have to go in here. And this is much, much different than how things are today. This would have been very, very cold. It would have been very smelly and probably pretty uncomfortable. And if you notice, there's three of them. This could have possibly been a family thing. Now, back here, I believe, is where they probably would have had the horses, maybe fed them. And this back here is the backyard of President Lincoln. Now, who knows uh, what he might have done back here in terms of, uh, you know, playing and roughhousing with his sons. Um, not too many people really know about what happened, uh, what happened on this property, but it's really rare that you can actually get in here and take a look around. So we'll go and do that. Now, this is the back of the home. This is I've taken this tour a few times. The home is actually closed today, although the backyard is open. But uh, this is usually not part of the tour, so it's really cool that we can do this. I know that a couple people asked me to see the Lincoln home, and I will take you guys on an indoor tour in the very, very near future. But this right here is the, uh, the back porch area. Lincoln no doubt spent a lot of time here. Now I'll show you the front of the house a little bit. Now, Abraham Lincoln did purchase this house for $1,200. He bought it from his Reverend Charles Dresser. And when he first bought this home, it was only a one-story home. They raised the roof. They put a second story in addition to it uh, to grow for his uh, growing family. But uh, it's really cool that this is still around. You can tour it for free. And it looks just the same as it did in the 1860s. Now, I'll insert a picture right here. This is what it looked like in 1860. And as you can see, nothing has changed. And Abraham Lincoln in that photo was right over here on, in the corner of the house. He was right in this front yard area. Pretty cool to see. Now, it is open, I believe, 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. I believe it is also usually open on the weekends. But uh, it is free to see, but you have to go and get a ticket in the visitor center, which is just a couple blocks away. There are about two blocks that are pretty much recreated, um, if not original. And this is exactly the way that Lincoln would have known this, uh, this neighborhood to be. The streets look the way that they should have back then. Uh, the sidewalks were probably made of wood, something similar to this. He would have recognized a lot of these houses. This was a very familiar walk to him. So it's really cool that you can, uh, that you can come by and see this. And you can walk through this neighborhood at any time. I don't believe they close it. Uh, they do have some, uh, some ghost tours that go on in Springfield that are uh, really interesting to take. So I highly recommend it. But um, yeah, I will show you guys a lot more from Springfield. This is just a quick video. And um, I just want to take a quick moment to thank Mary Kay Shepard, who is the newest channel member. For those of you guys that have been asking me about Patreon, I have launched a Patreon. The link is in the description of every video now. Um, don't feel like you have to do any of this kind of stuff. But for those of you that have asked, um, I'm trying to kind of build this channel a little bit more, show you guys a lot of neat stuff coming up. There's a lot of really great videos on the way, so thank you guys so much, and have a great day.